Well, the software giant Microsoft is now again in the news. It seems that their product Internet Explorer, a popular web browser for the PC, is under compromise and there was a bug found in the actual code that would allow a hacker to gain access into your computer and control it. So more about that coming up. Well, we're looking at the page of FireEye. FireEye is a security firm, and they're the first to discover and report the problem with Internet Explorer. They first blogged about it on April 26th of 2014, and I'll leave a link to the uh, webpage so you can read it yourself. Anyway, as a result of this discovery, Microsoft has brought out a security advisory about Internet Explorer and gives some measures that you could take to protect yourself. And frankly, it's a lot of mumbo jumbo and reading about it. And there are some fixes that I think would be better at this point, and I'll share them in just a moment. First, I wanted to explain how it's used. Internet Explorer comes with your Windows computer. And by default, a lot of people use it. I think it's reported that actually 55% of all computer users are currently using Internet Explorer of some version. And currently, all the versions right now are affected. Microsoft is scrambling to get a permanent fix for this problem. But as you know, Microsoft XP earlier in April was discontinued and no longer supported. So even when the fixes come out for the uh, more modern operating systems like Windows 7 and 8, Windows XP will not be patched. The way that the exploit works is a hacker can trick a user into clicking a link or visiting a targeted web page at that point, just visiting the page can actually give you the bug. At that point, what can happen is a hacker can control your computer just as if they were sitting at your computer with administrative privileges. Okay, so on with how to fix it. It's my personal opinion that the best way to be safe at this point is to stop using Internet Explorer altogether and use an alternative web browser such as Chrome or Firefox. The patch has been um, given on the page of things that you can do to your computer, but in my opinion, it's a workaround to a uh, full-time problem and they're going to have to bring out a regular patch or fix and that hasn't happened as of yet so I would definitely use an alternative uh, Internet Explorer type package like I said as like Chrome or Firefox that's really the only way to avoid this problem I just wanted to do a quick news bulletin about this to let you know I personally use Firefox and I have for a while. There's certain things about Internet Explorer that I really never did like and I think that uh, getting away from it is probably a good idea at this point. So I hope you learned something today. Uh, leave me a comment if you have something to say and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.